The worms give you whiskers, the gray blends you in, the doctor says. And a simple procedure cuts f You gotta be f***ing me. What? What? You went this far? And this is okay? I, I want an apology. I genuinely want an apology from every single person who lost their minds at the drag queen story time hour being like, oh, this is going to indoctrinate kids and then they're all pedophiles and all that other fucking fear mongering lies, lies. Meanwhile, this is like just perfectly acceptable. The same crowd. What the ever loving fuck. I just want to find out why Matt Walsh is a best selling LGBT uh, children's author. Uh, so that'll be strange. All right, time to learn. That I would be responsible for writing the literary sensation of 2021. Least of all that I would write it on cardboard. And yet my book, Johnny the Walrus, about a boy who identifies as a walrus and is now available at johnnythewalrus.com or on Amazon, has taken the world by storm. Critics are hailing it as a masterpiece. I haven't heard any critics say that exactly, but it's safe to assume that they- Are you fucking kidding me? Matt Walsh turned the one joke into a children's book? Oh my god, he absolutely did. And he turned the one joke into a fucking children's book. Okay, I am really fucking sick and tired of, uh, you know, being fooled into thinking that it happens to be people on the left who are trying to indoctrinate your kids when PragerU, the kids channel, is a real thing and this is also a real thing. Fucking, the art looks scuffed as fuck. They probably have said it. But forget about the critics. Just listen to some of these emails I've received. I've gotten a lot of emails from people who've, who've gotten the book. He's read it to kids? What? Uh, or reacting to the book. Satisfied customers have messaged me, stunned by the sheer depth and breadth. Oh my god, he's doing the Caleb Maupin thing where he uses Amazon reviews as reviews of his book. <laughs> about a kid who identifies as a walrus, and whose mother takes him to, be, to the doctor to have him surgically transitioned, and gets him walrus hormone pills, and then eventually tries to drop him off at a zoo to live with other walruses. This, Amazon has decided, is an LGBT story. There would seem to be a, a certain admission being made here. I don't know. And you might even say that by writing a trans walrus kids book and not only topping the Amazon charts, but getting the book classified as LGBT, our plan has worked perfectly. You might say that this whole thing is our trolling masterpiece, our Sistine Chapel of trolling. That's one interpretation. But it's not the conclusion that I choose to draw from this situation. Oh my god, it actually happened. You gotta be fucking me. Okay. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Matt Walsh. I am a children's author, and I've written a book called Johnny the Walrus. This book is all about identity and imagination. Okay, uh, can we be real here? Isn't Matt Walsh the same person who was like trying to defend uh, the pedophilia of the Catholic Church? Like that tweet uh, thread that he had where it was like, uh, technically the problem with the pedophilia in the Catholic Church is not actually pedophilia, it's a febophilia, and it's just because there's too many gay priests or something of that, uh, something of that nature. I think I'm even being generous right now. I think I'm, I'm saying it uh, in a nicer tone than he did. What is identity? Does anyone know what identity means? No. no. Do you know? You know what identity is? No? Okay. It's who you are, right? That's what it means. Now, who Again, how the fuck are, are uh, you know, uh, the gay agenda or the trans agenda the ones that are indoctrinating your kids? They lie about this all the time. This is him literally indoctrinating children, trying to teach children about identity. Who likes to pretend to be things? Is there anything you like to pretend to be? How about in the back? I like to pretend to be a... A ninja. And I don't know, I don't know if this is a spicy take, but I don't think a pedophile apologist should be anywhere near kids, uh, let alone reading to them from his fucking scuffed ass book. That's a good one. What about you? All right. Well, we all like to use our imagination. Sometimes I use my imagination. I pretend to be a monster. I chase my kids around because I'm big and ugly so I could be a monster. That's what this book is about. It's all about a boy who pretends to be a walrus. He identifies as a walrus and his mom- Oh, this is so painful. The one fucking joke. The one joke. Now a children's book. Hey, what up, Kefals? Everyone, go subscribe to Kefals. Please, do me a favor. Uh, this is, this is just maddening. Mom's a little silly. She takes it seriously and thinks she really is a walrus. That's silly, isn't it? So what's 
is this thing doing on the floor? That's, we don't have to worry about that. We're going to read the book now. Okay. Johnny's a... Based, based, good kid trying to distract everybody from this fucking transphobic nonsense. Boy with a big imagination. One day he's a dog, the next day a crustacean. It's like a crab or, or a lobster. One morning he came downstairs barking and clapping. Wood spoons for tusks and sock fins a flapping. He had spoons in his mouth, he was pretending to be a walrus. <laughs> I'm Johnny the walrus, he said with a roar. The wood floor's my ocean, the carpet's my shore. He's swimming around like a walrus, isn't that silly? Johnny's mom loves her son's make-believe time. You're Johnny the walrus till you change your mind, mommy says. But Johnny's mom's phone said it's not just pretend. So she went on her phone and there were people telling her that this isn't pretend, he's really a walrus. Only a bigot would say that. How dare you offend? What's a bigot? <laughs> like, how the fuck are kids gonna wrap their heads around this? I mean, you know what? This might actually have the opposite effect of what he's trying to achieve. Because <laughs> you gotta, all right, this one is really good for you parents. You get to explain to your children why it's okay to be transphobic. Uh, and you want to you wanna teach them that at a very young age. I mean, you know, as young as four or five, before they even understand uh, to hate, you need to teach them to hate, all right? They're not going to do it on their own. I mean, left to their own devices, kids aren't even really racist. So we got to teach it to them. We got to get it to them at a very young age. Teach some words like bigot and stuff. Anybody know? The mean person, right? Mommy was told to take John for a checkup. All these people are holding signs. Johnny is a real walrus, one sign says. Human walruses are real walruses. Let Johnny transition, all these people are saying. You'll need to eat warm. I mean, I'm pretty much preaching to the converted here, but I'm sure everyone here understands that uh, this is utterly absurd on its surface. There isn't a uh, concerned movement to defend the rights of uh, people who are trying to uh, say that they are animals. Uh, this is just the way that the right wing has been consistently trying to weaponize uh, uh, hatred uh, and legitimize hatred uh, against the trans community. Arms and to put on gray makeup. <laughs> The worms give you whiskers, the gray blends you in, the doctor says. And a simple procedure cuts f You gotta be fucking me! What? What? You went this far? And this is okay? I- I want an apology. I genuinely want an apology from every single person who lost their minds at the drag queen story time hour being like, oh, this is going to indoctrinate kids and then they're all pedophiles and all that other fucking fear mongering lies, lies. Meanwhile, this is like just perfectly acceptable. The same crowd. What the ever loving fuck? Feet into fins. The doctor wants to cut into Johnny and make him into a walrus. That's scary. It's gross eating worms, mom. They're all so dang twitchy. He doesn't want to eat worms. Those are bad for you. I thought I didn't eat worms, but I did. <laughs> Wood spoons kind of hurt. <laughs> oh, Matt doesn't know what to say to that one. I'm just going to let that one slide. The makeup is itchy. Deep down, Johnny's mom knew that something was wrong. Look at Johnny. He's, he's dressed up like a walrus, but he's not having a fun time. But she felt so much pressure, she just went along. The internet people knew just what to do. She went back to the The internet people. Again, how the fuck are kids gonna wrap their heads around this? Like, <laughs> I feel like you're trying to tell me something, but I don't quite understand what it is, man. Internet to look for answers? <laughs> Never a good idea. No! And mommy was told to take John to the zoo. Now she's gonna take her son to go live at the zoo like he's a real walrus. This is wild. This is just like horrifying bigotry. You got to wrap your head around what's actually happening right now. This is like uh, in the 1920s, say, uh, if there was the, the Matt Walsh of the time uh, doing a children's book uh, and talking to kids about why the white race is superior to the black race uh, and then doing a children's story that he wrote himself, right? About how like, you know, there was a white boy and there was a black boy and one did better in school. Oh, zooming in, right? Now it's my story time hour. Thanks, stream deck broken stream deck but anyways yeah matt walsh has a story and it's it's about how there was a white boy and there was a black boy and the white boy did better in school than the black boy and it happened to be because the white boy had better genes he had better dna and better genetics and that's what made him more superior do you all understand children like that's in essence what is happening right now it's just different bigotry for a different era when johnny arrived the walruses grunted 
And the mommy says, my boy's a real walrus. His growth was just stunted. I mean, she really thinks this kid is a walrus. But he's not. No. The zookeeper thought, what's she talking about? The more I watch this, the more I realize that one kid is pretty damn based, you know? He's just like, not, not taking any scuff from fucking Matt Walsh. Matt Walsh is just like, hey, you all have to be bigots like I am. I want you all to be just as bigoted as I am. So, so go, uh, get out there and be bigots like me. Don't, don't listen to the internet people. Tell them Matt Walsh sent you. And he's just like, I eat worms. Oh. Ma'am, that's just a boy with wood spoons in his mouth. Now he's the voice of reason. Yeah. Right? But if I believe that, they'll say that I Again, like, th th this is horrifying. This is absolutely horrifying. Like, if I showed you some old video of, uh, like, an old racist from back in the day teaching a whole bunch of kids based on his children's book about the uh, superiority of the white race based on IQ numbers, y you would be like, oh, wow, that is fucking shocking. I can't believe they used to do that back then. I'd be like, yeah, I know, it's really fucked up. We've come a long way. Uh, meanwhile, this. But if I believe that, they'll say that I'm phobic. Protecting your son, ma'am, is what's most heroic. Okay, first off, does not rhyme, fucking Dr. Seuss. Secondly, uh, this whole thing, start to finish, what kid is going to, like, this is for parents. This is not for kids. This is for parents who are already bigots and want to teach their kids to be the same. That's all this is. It's basically, how do I pass this on to the next generation? Because kids aren't going to pick this up and, and be like, phobic? Uh, bigots, internet people, I don't really understand what you're trying to say right now. What are, what are you trying to put into my mind? At last, Johnny's mommy was able to see... Oh, wait, is, I just uh, didn't pick up on that. Is this... Is this Matt? <laughs> is this supposed to be Matt? <laughs> is this your projection, Matt? Are you the hero of the story? <laughs> What's most heroic? At last, Johnny's mommy was able to see that Johnny's not what he's pretending to be. Now mommy ignores the mean things on her phone while Johnny pretends he's a bird flying home. Yeah, uh, Stitchens, I know you were like, we shouldn't make fun of artists. Uh, I completely disagree. If you are going to do the art for this fucking incredibly horrifying, bigoted piece of literature, then yes, I'm going to say this looks like MS Paint scuffed ass garbage. Like this whole thing is a fucking joke from start to finish. And the unfortunate thing is that yeah, it's 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 selling well. It's completely apparently socially acceptable for you to teach your children uh, to be bigots. Like it's wild. Now mommy ignores the mean things on her phone while Johnny pretends he's a bird flying home. The end. Thank you. No, I just sat down and wrote it. There's another one. There's another one there. We got a bunch of them. It'll be all over the place soon enough. You can ask your parents to buy it for you. Is there is there a particular ending we're looking for here, or just? <laughs> wow, they left that in. You can really tell how uncomfortable he is with this entire problem. Like, I don't fucking deal with these kids. God damn it! Why the fuck am I here? This is a terrible bit. They're like they're talking back. They're they're like, <laughs> are we gonna end this? Can we can we please can we please put them on? God damn. And now you gotta play the Tusk trailer for making me sit through this. No, Tusk is not a good film. Are you kidding me? All of Tusk is terrible. Never. This will come down to who can deliver the lower propensity yeah. and mid propensity voters. gods, Xander Corvus and Peyton L. Just, we will build a ladder to heaven to deliver you the daily news. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, we are your most humble of clownish jesters. 
To our lords, Trevor R. and Alexander Thaler, you have our undying fealty. To our knights of the round table, Nate, that one guy, Hagbird Celine, Matthew Scarborough, Stellar Vision, Ariana McCarthy, Daniel Sutton, Ants are still running the world, Coulter Smith, Tom Grow, Val 9000, Jenna Tal, Quiet185, Anna Loves Riley, Riley and Anna, Omni, Poodle Hawk, The Tim Caucus, Multimondi, Trevor Janice, Lemmy 101, Anthropophojack, Saren 42, Chronic to Hemp Hog, Catherine, Radical Maniac, Ramon Acosta, Incosin, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Political Puppy, Andreas Cheringuito, Zach Christensen, Josh Mickelson, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. We shall meet you in the tavern, and we raise a drink, and we salute you.